and and the thighs. There's nothing hard about that. Just look it up in the dictionary, and then you and then you know what it means. But you niggas want to make an excuse not to not to get not to get this, man. You want everything easy, so you get an easy book. But, they, but you don't know they changed up every damn thing. But. Says, of him come we all, uh -huh. and the people also, and the people also, Yasser Allah, go ahead, whom thou hast chosen, Israel, Yasser Allah, he chose them, he chose us. Yeah. All, all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world. So the, the, and then we gotta get John 3.16. Yeah, that whole, now see, this is where people get tripped up at. The, that word world. There's many definitions to that word world. You gotta you gotta look up the, the, the translations, the transliterations, etymologies of the words contained in this book. So that you can understand, right? Go ahead. It says, all, all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, uh -huh. because thou madest the world. The Lord made the world. Go ahead. For our sakes. For our sakes. And that's talking about, that, that world right there is talking about Oikumene. The whole entire world and everything in it for us. That's why that's why Adam is a son of the Heavenly Father. He would be considered now as you would know, know him as an Israelite. Why? Because that was the line that the the chosen line, the Israelites. Okay? So there were many Adam Adam Adams, many Adamites, right? Adama taken from the ground, right? But it was only one Adam the Lord chose to be his chosen, right? Yeah. Go ahead. I'll tell you that in Genesis uh, 5 and 1. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And that's, that's probably people too high. Adam. You understand. <coughs> As for the other people. As for the other people, the ones that you ain't choose, because contrary to popular belief, God does not love everyone. Your pastor lied to you. Your preacher lied to you. If you read the Bible, you understand this. But that's the problem with our people. You don't want to read. You see, you want this pastor to lie to you, tell you, tell you, tell you smooth things. Give me that. Prophesy the seeds. What's that? Uh, Jeremiah 23. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, the, um, the prophet has said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's Isaiah. Isaiah 30. Isaiah 30. Right? 30. 30 and 10. Isaiah 30. Okay, get that. Check it out. Uh, as for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said. As for the other people that come of Adam, besides the Israelites that God chose, right? Go ahead. Thou hast said they are nothing. I can't. Now, now this is the apocrypha. You say you don't believe in apocrypha. Is that in the regular Bible? Let's see. I got it right here. Isaiah. Oh, yeah. Okay, brother, go ahead. Isaiah 40 and um, verse 15. Uh -huh. Behold the nation. Because Esdras was quoting Isaiah. Esdras was a prophet of the Lord. Isaiah is a prophet of the Lord. And the prophets did that. They, that the Lord gave them the same word, but they relay in a different way. So one prophet says something that was similar to the other prophet. Because there's only one word. All right? Go ahead. Isaiah 40 and 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. So the nations are as a drop that comes from a bucket. Meaning, if you had a, a bucket, let's say you had a five-gallon bucket, and you're walking with it. Now, you know it's hard to keep all the water in that bucket if you're walking with it, if it's that full. If one little drop from that bucket falls, that's nothing. You still got, you, you still got damn near the whole full, full five gallons of, of, of water, right? So that little drop that fell is nothing. That's how the nations are, the heathen, the natural Gentiles to the Lord. Okay? So now you're telling me when when the one you call Jesus, right? His name is Yahweh Shai. When he came 2,000 years ago, he changed what Isaiah prophesied there and said and taught there? Hell no. He didn't change that. Go ahead. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. Right, meaning nothing, like it's going to say. Go ahead. And are counted as the small dust of the balance. A dust on a balance on a scale weighs nothing. It's not going to tip the scale here or there. It's 
nothing. In other words, it's showing you what the Lord feels for the other nations. Okay? They ain't shit. They're insignificant. The only people he cares about is his chosen people. Alright? Go ahead. It says, Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing. Now the islands that are inhabited by the heathen, by the natural Gentiles, they're insignificant. Little, little, they're little. They're nothing. Go ahead. And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, uh -huh. nor the heads, nor the beasts thereof sufficient for burnt offering. Lebanon is not sufficient to burn because Lebanon is known for what? Its trees. Fir trees, I don't know, the box I believe. The symbol, the seed of the symbol, the symbol on the Lebanese flag is a tree. Okay? And what the Lord's saying, these these heathen could burn all the damn trees in Lebanon up and try to be chosen by the Lord. And the Lord said, hey, that, that ain't enough. You can do it, you can burn up, and I still won't choose you. Uh, all the beasts that you can find on the earth, they can gather them all up, right? All right, and, and burn them up so that the Lord can possibly try to choose you. The Lord still won't choose you. All right, go ahead. Verse 17, all nations before him are as nothing. All nations before the Lord are as nothing, except one. Except one nation. That's the nation of Israel. Go ahead. And they are counted to him less than nothing. Right there, he's not talking about the Israelites. He's talking about the heathen, the natural Gentiles. Go ahead. And they are counted to him less than nothing. Damn, what's less than nothing, man? You can't even call them shit. Because shit is something. At least you can use shit to dung the damn plants and, and have them go and grow. Fertilizer. So damn deep. They're not they're less than stubble, man. Go ahead. He said they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. And vanity, which re vanity represents wickedness. Now get 41 and 13. Isaiah 41, 13. And just to prove to you, he wasn't talking about the nation of Israel when he said all oh, nations there. Go ahead. Isaiah 41 and 13. For I the Lord thy power will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. So he's talking to the Israelites, the same people he made a covenant with, the same people he chose, the same people he gave his laws, statutes, and commandments to by the hand of Moses on Mount Sinai. Only them. But fear not, thou worm, Jacob. And then he called he called Jacob a worm. Yes. Why? Why? Because you know why? Because yeah, even a worm is something. You know, but it's because of the lack of belief, the disbelief that Israel has, man. You know? But not only that, we're created from the ground, right? You got an earthworm, it dwells in the, on, the, on the earth, right? Go ahead. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, uh -huh. and ye men of Israel. Uh -huh. I will help thee save the Lord. Right, he said, I'm gonna help you. So don't worry. And the reason why he said worry, man, because you, 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 you're faithless, man. You don't believe that I can help you. You have no faith. Okay, so the Lord gets mad at that. When a man has no faith, the Lord gets mad, man. And he'll jack you up. Now, you can still be his chosen, his elected man, but he'll fuck you up, man, for not having... Uh, 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 John the Baptist's father, uh, what, his name was Zacharias? He was a priest, right, in the temple of the Heavenly Father, but because he did not believe... He did not believe. He did not believe. The Lord took took his uh, speech until John with John the Baptist was born. Right. All right. Go ahead. It says, "I will help thee, save the Lord Yahweh about Shemuel So the Lord's gonna even in this day and age, the Lord's gonna help us because He chose us, right, forever. Go ahead. And thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Right. And you know who's really speaking there? Yahweh Shai. That's Yahweh Shai speaking in the spirit in the, uh, Yahweh. Ba That's why we say Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh speaking through Yahweh Shai. All right. That's Yahweh Shai. A lot of all these the majority of the time the Lord spoke. It was Yahweh Shai speaking, man, to us. Go ahead. Okay. So what you got? So oh, this is um Isaiah. Psalms 30, <laughs> Isaiah 30 and um nine. It says. 
says that this is a rebellious people, <laughs> lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. It says, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto, unto us right things, speak to us smooth 